What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we we finished off the whole Groudon thing, and it was intense. Not only that, but a lot of things were enabled in this walkthrough, especially in the game, and that is that we can actually find way more Pokemon than we could ever imagine. Some of the Pokemon that I got, you know, via trade and all that stuff are now registered Pokemon on my Pokedex. And we got ourselves Groudon and can now Primal Evolve it and everything. So, uh, first thing is first right here, guys. I want to show you a little thing. Something small. You know, something small just to prove that you can actually find different Pokemon right here. Now, you guys can't see on the Dex Nav on the bottom of the screen right there, but you will be able to find newer Pokemon in different routes now. So, let's just go right ahead and just, uh, you know, let's just, uh, let's just run around and see if we can actually find one Pokemon right here. One Pokemon in particular, or one Pokemon, at, you know, just to, to actually look at, at this place right here. So, hold on just a sec. This is a gym battle, uh, a gym battle episode. And, well, as you can probably tell, that Pokemon will not, will not leave. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to use a Super Repel. Because I don't want to battle that Pokemon. Or I don't want to skip out on a good one right there. So I'm just running around like an idiot. Trying to find a Pokemon that you would not normally see. That's another Pokemon you can find. It's not there. Screw it. You can find new Pokemon. I'm not going to take the time, guys. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's go straight up right here. Now, let's go right ahead and just switch out our team. And, and just uh, take a look at the, the Pokemon that we got. So let's organize just a little bit right here. So, if you guys may have remembered... I had Noctowl. Now it is a Dex number 20, uh, 164. You got Eevee at 133. And then everybody else who hasn't been registered, like Nidorino and all that stuff, they got their registration forms and everything. So I'm going to bring in Groudon. This is going to be a full on Groudon episode because, yeah, it does have a move that we can actually use. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and fill up our team with uh, team members that we can actually use. Uh, don't really need Latios anymore. And let's see, right here. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, we got those guys. So let's go into the back seat right here. Now, I don't need to use Desert Storm right now. Don't kind of, I kind of don't want to use them right now because, yeah, we're not really gonna use any other Pokemon. Trust me, guys, it's gonna be fun. And uh, let's see, let's see, who is another Pokemon we can use? You know what, Fluff Blade. We can use Fluff Blade for right now. Aaliyah's gonna be there. And, well, actually, yeah, let's go right ahead and switch out, switch out, uh, uh let's switch out, uh, what was it, uh, Hydra, Hydra 2 for Raiden for right now. Another thing, too, we got the Eon Flute, so that means that Fly is off the window, or off the table right there. We can go anywhere we want now without using the Fly technique, so let's go ahead and blow that flute, and look at that, Latios Mega Evolving. And bam. So now we can travel anywhere we want. And like I mentioned in the last episode, you will be finding some areas where they have a red, like a red star on it. That is usually a Mirage Island, or it is uh, usually a legendary Pokemon that you could find at specific times. Uh, me, you guys, you guys are going to be seeing me struggle with uh, just a little bit. So our first mission right now is going to Sutopolis City because we need to actually get our last badge it's been quite some time since this whole pandemic started but here it is guys to topless city and wow i do need <laughs> i just realized something i do need a pokemon with surf ah crap baskets okay so let's go right ahead and switch out a pokemon right here let's see you know what i could switch out one pokemon right here that i you know i could i could uh use later on so let's go back to Hydra 2 put him back and take place of uh, Gaia and there we go everything is nice and uh, dandy and all that stuff and well it is time for our next badge right here and before we do anything we also got the red orb which means that we can actually uh, use primal evolution on our Pokemon uh, Groudon right here so let's go ahead and find that red orb. There's a blue orb. We'll do nothing 
And wow, we found a bunch of stuff. And there is the great orb, or great, or the red orb. So we're gonna give that to our good old buddy Groudon right there. And well, I guess I should be healing my Pokemon first because uh, yeah, we did take a quite a beating, a lot of beatings and all that stuff. So there it is. Anywho, guys, I I just gotta say I'm very proud at how this whole walkthrough has gone. I mean, there is still a lot of content to go through, and I just want to say thank you for sticking by. I know that a lot of you guys out there are still like in lockdown. In some major cities, you guys are still in lockdown. Some aren't. Uh, from where I'm from, we just opened up a little bit. I can work now, so I do apologize for like the late videos and all that stuff, but you know, I'm actually very, very proud of the fact that we managed to get so many episodes for both, like for all our walkthroughs. You guys may have remembered, when I was Draven XC711, this wouldn't have happened. This would have, you know, all our episodes would have been done in like three or four years, and I don't have three or four more years on that stuff, so, so happy about that. Anywho, here we are in the, the Sutopolis City Gym, and like I said earlier, guys, this is going to be a Groudon special, just because it's got a pretty cool move. So, let's go ahead and talk to Homie right here. Yo, how is it going, champ to be Draven? Sutopolis Gym Leader Wallace is the master of water type Pokemon. As you make your uh, way to Wallace, the icy floor will hamper your progress. Just between you and me. Walk on each floor panel just once. That's the trick. Be careful and go for it. Okay. Uh, let's see, what is first right here? Okay, so we're going to be battling the person downstairs because I want to show you guys something. I'll show you the sublime techniques I learned from our little Wallace. Okay. Bring it. Just bring it, Las Andrea. And she's coming out with her Ludicolo. Oh, uh, yes. Ludicolo, the first person. And here we go. Groudon. And now that you got the red orb on it. Uh oh. Mega Evolution. Nice. I'm just kidding. Primal Evolution. Look at that. Bam! Oh my god, it just becomes a Pokemon that you would want to use. And because of that, it has Desolate Land. And like I said in the last episode, yeah, Water-type attacks are useless. So, let's go destroy this guy. Here we go, Lava Plume. Oh, yes. And, yep, the Rain Dance does not work. So this guy has no chance whatsoever. So I'm, I'm just like, I'm just going to be spamming this guy right here. I know, it's a cheap way to win gym badge, guys, but I wanted to use them. Come on. Give me a break, guys. And look at that. Oh, my God. Groudon, you are like a tank. A massive tank among, amongst Pokemon. And she's like, sorry, Wallace. Okay, so we're going to be battling everybody. Everybody. Going, uh, gliding across the ice in a single graceful line. A Pokemon who can do that in an elegant and beautiful... Alright, I, whatever. Anywho, while we're battling this beautiful uh, Tiffany right here, I'm just going to be talking to you guys before we get to the next gym battle and all that stuff. So, um... God dang. I'm hoping by the time this episode comes out that we'll already be done with Pokemon Liquid Crystal. Now, trust me, guys, Liquid Crystal is a big-time walkthrough that I never thought that I'd... I do, let's, let alone have the patience to be finished and all that stuff. And trust me, guys, uh, I, I'm just I'm just gonna finish it to where it needs to be finished. And uh, if it's already done by the time this episode's out, then that's great. We've had a fun adventure and all that stuff, guys. I am not planning on doing any kind of other uh, hack games right now, mainly because, well, pandemic for me is not really over. It's uh, it's just that I'm gonna be a little bit more busy, but. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to, like, not pay attention to what I need to do here. And that is, you know, more walkthroughs and all that stuff. So, I can't wait. I can't wait for the next few walkthroughs. Pokemon X is in the works. Trust me, guys, I've already reached to episode 30. So, that's going to be, yeah, that's going to be an easy walkthrough for us all. And look at that. Wailord defeated. Already chose out my team. You guys will be happy. It's a tribute to all six generations and all that stuff. And Beauty Tiffany has been defeated. Heck yes. Okay, so before I do anything, there is something that I like to do with Groudon, and that is teach it something right here that 
kind of requires a little something, and I don't think I have it here. God dang it, I don't have it. I was talking about Solar Beam. I don't think I have Solar Beam. Crap baskets on the Crapsicle Stick. Yeah, I don't have Solar Beam right here, guys. So, now that you have Groudon and everything, you can use Solar Beam like whenever you want, so... And that's pretty cool right there. I kind of need to teach it something new. Just so I won't, like, overuse it and everything. So, let's see. Let's see. Uh, well, I would love to use Solar Beam, but I can't. I don't have it. Don't remember where to get it. Uh, let's see. Confide. Power Punch. Nature Power. Nature Power. Would, no, no. Grass Knot. Okay, well, let's try Grass Knot right here. Nope, uh, Groudon cannot learn Grass Knot. Um, let's see. Thunder Wave. It can learn Thunder Wave, but don't need to use it. Stone Edge is a pretty good move right there. Incinerate. Charge Beam. Overheat, of course. Uh, facade. Everybody can learn that. Shadow Bow. Rain Dance. Let's see. Hyper Beam. I could use Hyper Beam. I mean... But that seems a little too, eh, a little too much right there. Screw it. Let's just go. Let's just go bare ass right now. Okay, so who's next right here? We got another trainer. We got a lot of trainers right now. But yeah, guys, uh, you know this pandemic has allowed me to, you know, come out with as many walkers as I can. I did say, and I did want it this year to be the best one ever for my channel. Unfortunately, the whole world is uh, not really uh, agreeing with me with the whole pandemic going on and everybody's being shut down and whatnot but there it is guys you know I'm, I'm showing material right here that will actually you know help you guys uh, be entertained if you guys are still in the lockdown phase two and let's see as I'm recording this good god hold on just a sec it is June 17th today today it has been announced that Pokemon, uh, the new Pokemon Snap walkthrough game will be coming out for, uh, what was it called, uh, for the Nintendo Switch. I'm excited because I just deleted my, my Snap walkthrough and I'm going to be doing it again. And best believe I'm going to be coming out with Pokemon, the new Pokemon Snap game too. So, I cannot wait guys. And then I got to learn all the other Pokemon games and all that stuff too. So, let's see, more Pokemon battles, yes, I'm kicking ass, taking names, and all that stuff. You guys already get the power of, uh, what was his name, of, uh, Groudon right here. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna battle it just a little bit more. As you can see, its primal reversion is just killer, I love it. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at that. It just, oh my god. It just screams like, oh, you, you fucked up. You fucked up, badly. And, well, let's go right ahead. Precipitous Eye Blades. And crud. Here comes its iron defense right here. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use another Precipitous Blade. God dang. This guy's avoiding. And, yeah, that crunch attack is not going to do much. Except for, you know, lower my defense. Good God. Okay. Let's try it again. Precipitous uh, Eye uh, uh, blades and look at that oh oh my god Huntail is uh, hanging in there it's holding its own oh my god and more defensive uh yeah crud okay so here we go eat this earthquake you asshole Huntail yeah buddy all right okay look at that kicking ass taking names bam grows the level 46 Oh, yes. And, well, Fluff Blade, of course, grows levels, too, because, you know, it's just part of the team and everything. Okay, so I'm going to be using the two Electric-type Pokemon and that Grass-type Pokemon that I started with just to finish out these people. And then, once we get to Wallace, I'm going to show him exactly what I found in the Cave of Origin. I'm going to make him regret, you know, letting me win and everything. So, actually, we got the two Pokemon right here that can actually do the job. So let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on. God damn it. There we Ah, oh, damn it. It's not a double battle. Oh, these girls, I hate you. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. What's up, girl? Beauty Olivia wants the battle coming with her Sturmy. Okay, alrighty. Olivia. Let's go. Let's go. Alrighty, no 
no uh, primal reversion or anything, but here we go with a discharge attack. Yeah, buddy. Electric types for the win. Suck on those lemons, Stormy. Suck on those lemons. And then, bam. Look at that. Aaliyah grows to level 46. It's pretty good. And, well, just defeated Beauty Olivia. Oh, yeah. Defeated her with just one Pokemon. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. And let's go with Raiden, the Lord of Thunder. And, well, homegirl here is like, The sight of all is conducting a battle. The very beauty of it compelled me to become a trainer. Eh, really? Okay, alrighty. So here we go. Lady Brianna wants the battle, coming with her Clam Pearl. Clam Pearl looking like a clam. And here comes Raiden. Ready to just destroy everybody. Alrighty. You know what? Let's do it. Mega Evolution. Destroy. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mega Evolution. Third Pokemon to Mega Evolve. Here we go. Mainectric. Oh, yeah. It's like a big old lightning bolt right there. Look at that. Mega Mainectric. And uh, look at that. Clam Pearl has just been... Yeah. Oh, yes. This Pokemon can kill you five times before you hit the ground. I am very, very happy about this right now. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And here she comes out with a Corsola. I'm going to stay put. I'm going to start uh, destroying everybody with uh, good old Raiden right here. You know, since I haven't been using him very, very much. There we go. Wild Charge. Legendary. Oh, crud. Damn it. Should have beaten it right there. But here comes that Rock Blast. It's a multiple attacker. God dang. God dang. Come on, stop throwing rocks at me! Ugh. There we go. Another one. That's five. Alright. Finish him. Discharge. Well, it would have done it for the win, but... Eh, well, you know. There you go. Full restore. Here we go. Discharge for the win. And there you go. Corsola has been defeated. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And oh yeah. Mega Evolution. You gotta love it. You really do. So that's, yeah, third Pokemon. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say third, maybe fourth Pokemon that has Mega Evolved. I could I could say that, you know, um, I could say that, uh, what was his name? Uh, Latios could be my third Pokemon because, you know, when it flies me, it Mega Evolves. Which is pretty cool. Very, very cool. Okay, so let's go into the second part of this whole gym right here. Of course, this I think this is the gym where you have more trainers than anybody. Now we got to go through these uh, ice cap or these sliding areas right here. And like he said, we got to we got to we got to go through them once. So as you can see, look at that. Oh damn. Oh, damn. Okay, so I'm just, like, concentrating, so excuse me if I'm not talking. Look at that, and bam. Okay, so that's one. Ah, oh, God, I hate these. Let's see. Let's see. Uh... Crap. Baskets. Okay. Yeah, I messed up right there. So, when you mess up, you go straight down and battle his trainers down there. So, that is probably the situation right there. Yeah, it's been a while since I've actually done this, guys. So, once you've already gone through the, the ice caps right there, you will not, um, well, you'll not miss out or anything. So, let's see. Let's see. There we go. I may be doing it wrong. I know some of you guys are probably like, Draven, what the hell are you doing? Okay, so. Let's see. Uh, Draven. You bastard, you. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so let's see. Right here. God dang it, I messed up. Ah. <sighs> Okay, so this is going to be a while, guys. It's going to be a while. I know, I know. Should have probably been more att uh, paying attention to the uh, to the lay of the land or anything like that. So let's go right ahead and do this again. Alright, uh, let's see. This is the part that really gets at me. So, let's see. What if I did like this? Oh, 
Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's see. I did that. Okay, I think I know how to do it. Hold on. There we go. So let's see. Do, 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 do. God dang it! Ah, I almost had it. I almost had it. God damn. God damn. Okay. All right. I almost had it, guys. Oh man, Draven trying to figure this out. It's funny. It's funny. But it makes for a very good episode. It really does. And well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Let's try this again. Of course, that's a helicopter. God dang it! All right. Shit on a basket. Ah, oh, god dang. Okay. Screw it. Uh, okay. I, I do excuse the whole uh, yelling part, guys. I know that some of you guys love love uh, listening to my uh, my walk just because I don't yell at the at the screen, but or. If there, if there ever there was something that made me yell, it would have to be this. All right, let's see. Ah, I did it again. God dang it. God dang it. Okay. All right. All right. So I think I did something here that could, that could help. Let's see. Right here. See. I got it! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So that's two down in it. Well, are you serious? Ah, oh, jeez. Jeez Louise, okay. <sighs> okay, maximum effort. Let's see what we have to do. Uh, crap on a crapsicle stick. I really do hate these puzzles. You see, I messed up already. God dang. Uh, okay, so this is the yeah, this is the reason why I don't like this gym a lot, and why I'm gonna be using Groudon on on uh, Wallace all the time because yeah, it's crap like this. It's just crap like this, guys. And well, if that was hard enough, let's go right ahead and go right here. Be like a ninja. God dang it! <laughs> oh God, stop! No! Oh my god. Oh my god. And I got like a few minutes before I have to go to work, so <laughs> I gotta get this down quick! Alrighty. Let's do this. Come on. Straightforward Gattaca and everything. Let's go. Right here. Like a ninja. Like a ninja. Okay, I think I know what to do right here. Battle her. Okay. Okay, so we can uh, forget about this whole uh, thing by battling this chick right here. She's coming out with her love disc. Now we all know that love disc is a very, 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 very fast Pokemon right here. So I, I'm thinking that we can just beat him. You know, discharge and all that stuff. So there we go. Discharge for the win. Yeah, buddy. Now, whoever thought about having this as a last gym is an asshole. True asshole. So, yeah. And, well, there we go. Sage has grown to level 57 and is learning Quick Guard. Yeah, I kind of don't want to use that right now. So I'm going to press yes again. And, well, Quick Guard is good. And let's go with Seedra. Our right, Seedra's coming out. All right, so let's go back to Aaliyah right here. Give these two Pokemon some lovin' before we go back and kick some ass. So, here we go. Aaliyah for the win. And Seedra is just looking like a, a beast of a Pokemon right here. I've always wanted to use Seedra. Especially in, like, Generation 2 and then evolve it into, uh, what was it, uh, Kingdra and all that stuff. I've always wanted to do that never had the chance. 
I may or may have not had the opportunity in Liquid Crystal I, before I found out that you can use uh, stones, elemental stones to evolve these Pokemon rather than, you know, just uh, trading them. And, well, let's see. Right here. Right here. Alright. Okay, so let's go battle Athena first. Alright, so when I gaze upon Wallace, the time flies before I say, oops! Okay, alrighty. Here we go, battling Marissa, coming with a Zoomeril. A Zoomeril, I should say. Sorry for all them uh, grammar Nazis out there. And there goes Raiden, the badass Pokemon. Alrighty, let's do this. Discharge. Yeah, buddy, look at that. Just calling up the gods from above, and bam. Yeah, buddy. Okay, I'm like, look at that, look at that. And we defeated Marissa. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, so, let's see. I think I've already had it in my head how to do this. So, we go down. I'm getting text messages up the ass from both the friends and the girlfriends. Yes, that's right. Gym Leader Draven is a PIMP. Not really. I'm a nice dude. Here we go. Alright, so leave that open. And... Bam! Oh my god. Whew! Okay, so that was easy, I guess. I don't know. I was just like, I played it in my head. It had to be in my head and all that stuff. So I'm gonna go with Groudon right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and use a Super Potion on Groudon. Because this is going to be unfair. So unfair to Wallace. Alright, bring it on. You majestic ass looking Pokemon trainer. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I am Wallace, the gym leader of Sutopolis City. There's something about you. A difference in your demeanor. I think I sense that in you. What happened inside the Cave of Origin and what you did there? Our upcoming battle will make that very clear. Now show me, show me the power you wield with your Pokemon. And I, in return, shall, re uh, shall present you. Oh damn, he's just like dabbing right now. With a performance of illusions in water. Really, did he just like take an ass shot? <laughs> oh my god, by me and my Pokemon. God, this guy is like flaming. He is fantastic, and look at this guy. Gym Battle of Ray versus Wallace. Okay. Let's go, love this. Now, I wonder if, like, his his uh, his mentor, like, what if he were to, like, battle us and all that stuff? That would be hilarious how he would react. So, here we go. Groudon. Primal Evolution. Oh, yeah. Time to eat this. Oh, yes. The fire inside of you are ready to destroy that love disc. Oh, yeah. And here we have Desolate Land. So, it makes all water-type attacks just useless. So, let's go right again and uh, use that Precipices uh, Blades. And, yes, that... <laughs> It doesn't work, of course, my, my attack doesn't work. Water type attacks, it does not work against me. Here we go, Precipices Rocks, or Blades, or whatever. Eat it, Love Disc. Defeated! Duels! And, well, Aaliyah's growing levels without doing anything, that's pretty cool. Fluff Blade, of course, mooching off the teeth, and here she's, he's coming out with Milotic. And... If you guys don't remember, Milotic used to be a very, very hard Pokemon to defeat here in this gym. But now that I got this homeboy right here, Earthquake Attack. Time to feel this, Earthquake. You slithery, sli slimy Pokemon. And yes, the Hydro Pump is not working. Time to get this Earthquake Attack. And oh, wow, he's healing up his Pokemon right here. Yes, guys, I know it's unfair for me using Primal Groudon, but guess what? This is the only time I'm ever going to use him. Like in this battle, I always wanted to use him here, so... Let's go, Lava Plume. Time to blow him up. Bam! And that is the way the cookie crumbles right there. Say goodbye to my Lodic. Yeah, buddy. And Hydra, the first to grow to level 60 right there. And here he comes out with his Whiskash. So I'm just going to stay put. And I'm going to just destroy him. Let's finish him with some Earthquake Attack. Yeah, buddy. Oh, uh, yeah. Feel that Earthquake Attack. What the hell? What the hell was that? Oh, uh, you thought that I was an electric Pokemon, but here we go again. 
Earthquake attack over the win. And yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. Oh yeah, and uh, well, look at that. Groudon grows to level 47, actually battling. And well, this guy is going to be coming out with his C Leo, so I have a uh, bad news for C Leo because it is also an Ice type Pokemon. Time to eat this lava plume. Oh yes. Oh yeah, blows up all over you. Oh, nearly defeats him, and that water type attack does not work. Here we go with Lava Plume. Again. Oh, uh, yes. The satisfaction that I'm getting just defeating Wallace with just one Pokemon. It's, it's astounding. And here he comes out with a Sea King. Yeah, well, he, I thought he was going to come out with, like, a, whatchamacallit, uh... I thought he was going to come out with a... What's his name? Uh, a Kingdra, but I guess that was wrong. So here we go. Precipices. Ah, Blades, and that takes care of that Sea Queen right there. Oh, yeah. America. And, well, as you can see, bravo! And I received a buttload of uh, pokey, uh, pokey dollars and stuff. I realize now your authentic uh, authenticity and magnificence as a Pokemon trainer. I find much joy in meeting or having met you and your Pokemon. You have proven yourself worthy of the Rain Badge. Accept it! Having that badge assures you full obedience of all your Pokemon to every command you make. Bam. Look at that, guys. The Rain Badge. It's finally ours. And that's eight badges, guys. Holy crud. And so you never forget that we the battle we shared. Here, we get ourselves the HM05 Waterfall. The only HM ever given to us by a gym leader here. And he's like, the HM I have given you contains Waterfall. It allows you to smash into an opponent with a force required to climb a Waterfall itself. Yes, it's a mighty move, and yet it also has certain elegance and can sometimes cause opponents to flinch. Now, with the power of the Brain Badge, you will be able to use the HM move. Whatever to scale the walls of Cascading Water. Okay. Many paths are open to you now. One path would take you to the Pokemon League. It's all, it is the goal that all trainers in Hoenn aspire to reach after obtaining all eight badges. If that is the path you choose, then you must find your way to the island said that the, the most remote in Hoenn, Evergrande. But if there's a different path you seek and you'd rather pursue Pokemon in a completed Pokedex, the rumors that uh, reach on the wind, the wind whispered that Professor Birch in Little Root has created a more powerful Pokedex. Visit him, obtain the new technology, and I have a little doubt you will encounter more diverse Pokemon than ever before. I hope you are, I hope that a bright future awaits you, whatever path it is you choose. Uh, well, well, let's just say I already did that. What if I already did that and got the Pokedex? And what if that is my plan for, you know, what's going to happen next? I don't know. I'm just saying. So, after defeating uh, the gym leader right here, yeah, we are enabled to go to Evergrande City and uh, pursue the Pokemon League. But what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is, uh, I kind of want to do some side quests, guys. I really do. Kind of like, uh, I don't know. Kind of like in the anime where he does some side quests to some town that we've never seen in Kanto and everything. So what's going to happen right here, guys, is that now we are enabled to actually catch whatever Pokemon we have, trade for whatever Pokemon we have, evolve and all that crud. And that is exactly what I'm going to be doing uh, behind the scenes, capturing these new Pokemon. Uh, the next few episodes, I'm not really going to be going to Mirage, uh, to any Mirage Islands. I'm going to just stick with the Pokemon uh, within, within the storyline right here. So, like the Regis, uh, the Regi Pokemon... Uh, I already said the Reggies. I, you know what? I do have the Eon uh, ticket that we received a few episodes ago. I might be using that again just to, you know, get the other Lottie. Uh, things such as that, I'm going to feature in the next few episodes. That way we get them out of the way. That way we culminate everything to, bam, the Elite Four battle. And then going on forward to the Delta series. So... It has been a great adventure, guys. I, I'm, I'm like again. I'm very proud that I've managed to get to this amount of episodes, especially during a pandemic, and especially with so many walkthroughs that I've been doing too. So uh, the plan is set. 
I will be building up teams, my old teams and everything, every team that I've had. And then uh, after that, you know, hopefully we will uh, make some noise later on. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>